As a small boy growing up in the cotton fields of West Texas, Raymond Davis never dreamed of becoming anyone's hero. He fell in love and married Ina Bell Woodfin, and within two years he became the father of two daughters. War had come to America, and by 1944 Raymond had been called into service. He began his basic training at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, where he was being trained to fight in the European campaign. After 13 grueling weeks of training, Raymond's orders were changed to the South Pacific operation. Can you imagine wondering if you were prepared for these new orders? Raymond had persevered in his training. Fully prepared or not for this change in orders, he was heading for the South Pacific. Traveling from Fort Ord, California, he journeyed down river to San Francisco. Here he loaded a ship with hundreds of soldiers and spent his first Christmas away from his family fighting the Japanese in New Guinea. During World War II, soldiers worked to earn credits that would determine the amount of time spent in active duty. These credits were earned for serving in various campaigns, for receiving military honors, or even for injuries of war. It was here in New Guinea that Raymond received the first of many credits that would eventually lead him back home to his family. However, being a man of honor and integrity, he refused two Purple Heart citations. I could have got two Purple Heart. The first thing where I could have got one with my buddy. We just put up a, a poncho, put it up over a foxhole, and we didn't tie it up too good because the app was put a bring mortar far on us, and ours got on far. And I reached up to pull that thing back before I knew it wasn't, it wasn't put up too good, see. But I wound up with a handful of burning rubber. And the next time we was on patrol, that was right close to the end of the war, we had the phosphorus grenades. <laughs> I was, of course, I was head of the patrol. So this guy, he told that thing, and it would it, it just go through your clothes just like nothing. So I could have got my second purple heart over that. But anyway, it just barely hit my shirt. It didn't go into it. But I could have got a purple heart over that had it been reported. To a guy that really got a purple heart, what I, what I went through, I, I didn't deserve. Raymond proudly served his country as a staff sergeant in the 32nd Infantry Division of the Armed Services. From New Guinea, Raymond headed for the Lingayen Gulf on northern Luzon in the Philippine Islands. Here Raymond's battalion came head to head with the Japanese. After 30 days of fierce fighting through rugged terrain, they had covered only 30 miles. He praised the work of the combat engineers without their diligence at creating a two-lane road through this 30-mile rugged section, getting supplies and moving forward would have been impossible. Raymond's tour of duty would last for five and a half more months after the war ended. In August of 1945, at the beginning of the occupation of Japan, he was sent to Fukuoka. Here he inventoried Japanese army weapons and supplies. Only 20 miles from Hiroshima, he witnessed firsthand the devastation of the atomic bomb. Although he hated that the Japanese had had to suffer, this event had brought a swift end to the war. Raymond would see another Christmas away from his family. However, on December